Canon has a new flagship full-frame DSLR that does amazing cutting-edge photography, and we've got one here in the studio. Let's have a look at the EOS 1DX. Hey everybody, I'm Larry Becker and today I have a camera that Canon has released at the top of their Pro DSLR lineup. It's the EOS 1DX. If you're a pro photographer or an enthusiast and somebody asked you, what is the most important performance feature you'd like in a full frame camera? A few different responses might come to mind. Things like sharpness, high ISO, low noise, state of the art auto focusing with loads of cross type sensors, an incredibly fast burst rate for capturing action like sports, I'd be willing to bet that the 1DX delivers whatever is on your performance list. There's no mistaking this camera is a pro rig. It's over three pounds before you even add a lens. It's all metal and that's from the outside to the chassis. The grip is great and that includes vertical orientation too. But even with a simple lens like this 50mm f1.2, you need both hands for shooting. It's Canon's most weather-sealed body, and the shutter is rated for 400,000 actuations. When you shoot with this camera, just about anywhere, you're going to be noticed. No candid street shooting with the 1DX. Let me start by walking you around the camera a little bit so you can see how the controls are set up. Looking at the back, Canon has put all the playback controls on the left, and all the shooting controls are on the right. For Canon shooters, it's a little different than what we're used to, but it's easy to get comfortable with quickly. So let's talk about being comfortable with this camera's feel. What's so great, besides the texture and shape, is the nearly identical placements of all the buttons in both vertical and horizontal orientations. These buttons and dials include the depth of field programmable button pair, a second multi-controller joystick, the shutter release, main dials, and even the relationship of the quick control dial is the same whether you're holding it landscape or portrait. The 1DX captures both still and HD video, and while the HD video quality is quite good, there are other DSLR cameras which are set up better for professional video capture. We'll get to that in a moment. For this camera though, Canon has put still shooting from studio to sports and everything in between at the top of its priority list. Besides great 18.1 megapixel full frame image quality, there are three real standout aspects to this camera that let you know it's a top of the line rig. The focus system, the low noise high ISO performance, and the 12 frames per second burst capture rate. The focus system is simply state of the art. With 41 cross type sensors and 61 total focus points, it's phenomenally fast and incredibly accurate. In my testing, I was able to capture focus as quickly as with any other camera I've ever shot, but because there are so many focus points, it'll deliver accurate focus in so many more situations that this focus performance in a full frame camera is simply unmatched. With the new focus algorithms Canon engineers have programmed in, there are more scenarios where you'll not only capture focus, but maintain it as you shoot 12 frames a second. One hint that the focus system has been tremendously expanded is the fact that there's a separate AF tab in the menu system with five sub-menus. Action shooters know that there are all kinds of different ways that action happens, and each is uniquely complicated to shoot. The 1DX actually has six scenarios that have pre-programmed settings for this kind of challenging quick focus, and each of them can be fine-tuned even further in that same menu. Canon's 1DX autofocus system is definitely for the pros with the most demanding needs. And nothing else currently on the market delivers the variety of focusing answers and customizability that this camera does. One final note about the autofocus system is you might have heard that lenses or a lens plus an extender combination with a maximum aperture of f8 won't autofocus without a firmware update but all the new 1DXs actually ship with that updated firmware, so really this is a non-issue. When it comes to low light performance, the high ISO capability is incredible. 
The native ISO range goes from 100 to 51,200. And in extended mode, it can go down to 50 or as high as 204,800. That means that you'll not only have better low light images, but because focusing in low light is better than ever before, your low light experiences will be much better than whatever else you're used to. The high ISO images are really amazing. Though the highest ISO at 204,800 is probably a little too noisy for most pros. Let me share a couple of specific focusing experiences with the 1DX. I was at the bay with a 70 to 200 f2.8 image stabilized lens, and I was hand holding and trying to track birds in flight. With most cameras, this is going to be an exercise in futility unless you're a skilled bird photographer, because as soon as you lose focus, everything gets so blurry against a featureless sky that you can't even tell if the subject is still in the frame. Getting focus back is practically impossible. You usually have to zoom out or even take the camera away from your face to reframe and refocus. I spotted and started tracking a quick, erratically flying water bird called a least turn. It's a water bird that dives into the water from altitude and then it jumps back out of the water and it flies away with its prey. Not only was I tracking and maintaining focus on flying birds like a pro nature photographer, considering just how small this bird is in the frame and how shallow the depth of field is, I reviewed these images in my computer and I was amazed that they were all in focus. And looking at the splash images, you can even see how shallow the depth of field was and the detail was still amazing. Another situation that Canon shooters have mentioned can be a challenge is focusing on a scene when the sun is in the frame. Sunset focus can be difficult. Not for the 1DX though. It's just as quick as any other situation and there's no focus hunting at all. When it comes to the shutter rate and image handling, they're both as fast as the focus system. The 1DX can capture 12 frames a second, full frame raw files, and it takes a lot to fill up that buffer. Additionally, a continuous shooting rate of 14 frames per second is also possible when shooting with a fixed focus position and recording only JPEG files. But since achieving that burst rate also requires that the mirror is locked up, you probably won't find too many situations where that burst rate is especially helpful. And since the 1DX has two compact flashcard slots that address cards as fast as UDMA7, not only can you capture images with amazing speed, but you won't find yourself regularly waiting for that buffer to clear. A big reason that the 1DX clears the buffer so fast is because it's not using just one processor. It has dual Digic 5 Plus processors to handle image processing, and then there's also a separate dedicated Digic 4 processor that's just for auto exposure calculations. When you first experience shooting with the 1DX, you'll be asking yourself, how does this camera go so fast? And the answer is processing horsepower. Beyond the thrill of getting 12 frames per second while that amazing autofocus does its magic with every single frame, I found that the inner frame image blackout was brief enough that I could track things like a seagull or a kingfisher in flight handheld at 200 millimeters with no problems at all. And so many of the individual frames are in focus, it's really amazing. Pro shooters have used the phrase spray and pray for a long time, referring to a camera's burst mode and they use that and then fire the shutter as much as possible and hope that there are a few good images in the batch. My prediction is that the 1DX captures so many good images so quickly, the new phrase is gonna be spray and smile. So much of the quality of an image is the color accuracy, minimal noise, and minimal lens distortion. Now, considering that I was shooting with a first rate 70 to 200 f2.8 image stabilized lens most of the time, and with this 50 millimeter f1.2 lens other times, I got great images. These are some great Canon lenses with beautiful lens quality, so it's all about color and focus. I prefer to shoot raw images and do my own tweaking in post. I found that I didn't have to add the same level of vibrance boost or noise reduction that I'm used to with my other cameras. My images looked great as unretouched raw, and the final steps just added that last little boost. I'm not exaggerating when I say that you'll love the images that you get from the 1DX and that you'll get more that are in focus than you're used to. It's absolutely state of the art. I mentioned that the 1DX captures 1080p HD video but you'll probably need to pull out the manual to figure out how to even turn it on. 
you'll go into the fourth shooting settings menu and change the live view display mode from stills to movies. That means that you can't shoot stills when live view mode is used, but you'll have to know to press the M-FN button to start recording because the set button and the shutter button won't start recording movies. There are a few pro aspects to the One DX's video capabilities besides 1080p HD. For example, it can capture video time code. Things like the microphone in jack and the adjustable audio settings will help videographers. And you can set the quick control dial to be touch sensitive so you can silently adjust things like shutter, aperture, ISO, exposure compensation, or even sound levels during filming. Canon describes it as behaving like a classic iPod because you touch the top or the bottom, left or right of the dial, rather than rotating it. On the downside for video production, there's no headphone out for monitoring the audio, the onboard mic is just mono, and just turning on movie controls requires that trip to the menus. There are more standout features than I could ever mention in a short video review, but I do want to mention some other high points that pro shooters will love. Sure, there's a USB connector, but there's also gigabit Ethernet connectivity to move your photos as fast as possible when shooting tethered. There's a voice memo feature for photos. There are three shooting mode memory slots, and you can use those to register the entire camera setup, so every setting, every customized button, and camera behavior is exactly how you want it. And while I'm used to shooting raw images and then applying image correction during post-processing to fix things like chromatic aberration and vignetting, by the way, Canon calls vignetting peripheral illumination, the 1DX has profiles for more than a dozen lenses built right into the camera so it fixes those things while you're shooting. And Canon has more lens profiles on their site that you can download and then install into your camera if your lens isn't already included. There are other Canon full-frame cameras, but there's no question. This one is the flagship. The 1DX is a low light, speed, and focus champion. I'm sure that you'll be seeing lots of 1DX images in magazines, on websites, and on gallery walls from now on. For Kelby Training and B&H, I'm Larry Becker. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit us online, give us a call, or stop by our New York City Superstore. You can also connect with us on the web.